Hi, welcome to the kitchen. It's really hot outside today, so I decided we'd stay in the kitchen and make something that I absolutely love. Um, and it's pickled red onions. If you've never tried pickled red onions, you ought to try them. They're quick, easy to make. Um, they're great on tacos. They're good on uh, hummus that I'm going to show you how to top a hummus that, to make it something that is amazing if you're having guests over. Uh, everyone loves it. Um, and there, it's a great addition to a charcuterie board. So if you've never tried pickled red onions, um, you need to try them because once you do it, you won't have a taco without them. So I have four red onions today and I'm going to cut up the last one. I'm going to move the camera in so you can see what I'm doing here. I've cut up three of them ahead of time for the sake of crying on the camera because these really do get to me. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. All right, I'm going to cut the ends off of this onion. I did not grow these in the garden. I actually purchased these. Um, my onions in the garden aren't near this big, so I would have had to have used up quite a few of them, and I wanted to save those. So I actually purchased this. Pretty strong onion. It won't be when we get through with it. So I'm going to take the outside peel off, take both ends off. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to slice each half into thin slices. I have a big bowl over here where I put the other three and we're going to put this in there and then I'm going to do the other half. I'm making quite a few. Um, you don't have. You can cut this recipe in half. My grown kids love these, um, and we're all out. So I'm making a rather large batch of these today. But you can cut it down, and you don't have to make this many. But I'm using four onions. All right, into the bowl they go. Here's my bowl of onions, four onions sliced thin. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pour, let me set them over here. We're going to pour boiling water on these. Um, and we're going to let them sit for about 20 minutes. And what that's going to do is it's going to take that beautiful red that's in the skin and it's going to draw it throughout the whole entire onion slice so you won't have the white on the onion like you did. I'm going to end up using this whole pot and I'm going to submerge these down in that water so that they get covered well. And I'm going to let these sit here for hmm, about 15 minutes um, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay so while our onions are sitting in the hot water I'm juicing some limes. I've juiced about six limes here my, I'm going for a cup of lime juice. Um, these are really juicy, so that worked out well. Sometimes you get limes and they're just not as juicy, but these are. Remember, I'm doing a large batch with four onions. You can do this as small as one onion, and you can cut this recipe down. So we're making the acid that we're going to use on those, so I have one cup of lime juice here. The next thing we're going to need is a cup of red wine vinegar. So. I'm going to add this to the lime juice and go ahead and fill it up to the two cup mark. This is going to be our brine for our onions. I hope you try this. You will not be sorry.
All right, now we have the two cups of red wine vinegar. Um, you do not have to use red wine vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you like. I happen to like this. I think it gives it a really pretty color, so I use the red wine. Next, we're going to need a tablespoon of peppercorns. I'm going to add that in there. We're going to need one tablespoon, actually two tablespoons, of salt. We're going to use two tablespoons of sugar. It's going to sweeten those up a little. All right, our onions have sat here for 15 minutes and now we're going to drain them and get that water off of them. Now they've softened up just a little bit. You're going to be surprised how red these are going to turn out. All right looking good so far okay I have cut up some lemon jalapeno strips that I want to add to my onions um, that is not necessary you don't have to do that if you don't want the heat I'm going to put them back in this bowl but if you don't want the heat don't do that step you can use any kind of pepper that you want but uh, I like these I had them in the garden so I'm just going to toss these in here I did uh, four peppers. And I'm going to mix these in. Try to get some of each in each jar. I may have ended up with more than four jars full of these. Okay, our brine is all ready except for one step and that is that I want to add some hot water to it. So I'm going to add a cup of hot water to this. And that's going to actually help dissolve my sugar. Um, I could have put the sugar in the hot water to begin with, but you don't have to. This is going to work out just fine. And I'm going to whisk it around to help that dissolve the sugar and the salt. All right, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to get my jars, and I'll be right back. All right, I got my jars. I have four jars to start with. They are clean and sanitized. What I'm going to do now is just stuff onions into these jars and push them down. I'm going to fit as many as I can into here. Being sure if you do use the pepper to get some pepper in each jar. Um, I bet I end up having, actually I can use this to help a little bit. Helps get them in there without losing them all over. My little funnel. I use that for everything. I'm going to use these and show you guys how to top off a hummus and make it something that your guests will not forget. I had a hummus similar to this at a nice hotel we went to and I come home and I put my own twist on it a little bit but it's my favorite hummus. Actually you can make a meal out of it, it's so delicious. But that will be a separate video. Oh, I definitely am going to have more than four jars. I can get more in these, but these go with any Mexican food. Um, you can just have them as a little side, and then they're beautiful in a charcuterie tray. Now these are not going to be shelf stable, so these will need to go in the refrigerator. <laughs> I made these and gave them to my sons last time, and one of them, because I'm always giving them something that's, you know, canned, and it came in a mason jar, and they thought that it was shelf stable, so they left them sit out on their counter. Um, yeah, you can't do that. They have to go in the fridge, and they won't last a long time because you'll eat them, but they do last. If you don't, they last a long time. 
you know, people will tell you they'll last a couple of weeks, but I actually had a jar of these that were just fine um, in my refrigerator for a year. So I'm going to grab another jar. I'm, ending up, I'm making more of these than I thought. So that's good. They make great gifts. In fact, when I go out of town, um, I'm going to go visit my brother and his wife. And I will probably take them a jar of these when I go. She's Filipino. Um, I don't know if they use red onion or not, but she's a really good cook, so I'm sure she can find uses for these in her cooking. These don't have the vibrant color yet, but they will when we're finished. Okay, looks like I've got five nice sized jars. Okay, I'm going to stir up our liquid one more time. I want to be sure that I get peppercorns in each jar. And I'm going to fill up the jars. And I'm going to want to be sure that my onions are submerged in each jar. there. I got quite a few peppercorns left. So we will just disperse those throughout the jars. The lime juice just gives these a wonderful flavor. Wonderful. Okay. All right, you can see that after I made my brine, I'm short in each jar just a little bit because I want to be sure that those onions are submerged. So I'm just going to top each one of my jars with a little bit of red wine vinegar. That won't hurt anything because um, you can do it with just vinegar anyway. I just added the lime juice, but I want to be sure those onions are under the liquid and peppers if you choose to use peppers. We're going to cap off each one of these jars and we're going to let them sit here and cool and once they're cool we'll set them in the refrigerator. Now you can eat these as soon as tomorrow. Um, I prefer to let them sit a little bit longer, but you can. The onions are going to soften up and the, they're going to turn a brighter, more vibrant red. And I'll show you as soon as they're done. So here we have them. I like to give them a good shake just to be sure everything's mixed up. Look how beautiful that is. And they're going to be even more beautiful tomorrow. So that's how you make pickled red onion. Um, if you've never tried it, please try it and get some made so that when I show you how to make the hummus, you'll be ready for that. Alright, thanks for joining me in the kitchen. I'll see you in the next episode.